this takes place August 27th, 2013. Okay. 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 So we're just north of Las Vegas, New Mexico, which is up in the mountains, right? High elevation. A hunter walks into a clearing to find one over 100 elk, all very close together, laying dead. First thoughts. 100 elk dead. Where was he? Oh. What, what did you say? In the mountains of New Mexico. New Mexico. Uh, poison. Some kind of poison. Mm, okay. I'm going to go uh, poison, but some kind of like some kind of gas from an illegally parked fracking machine. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, please do. What? What's the problem? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Uh, okay. you'll, you'll find out why. <clears throat> okay. From the scatter pattern, it looks like they all basically dropped dead at more or less the exact same time. Okay, so no lightning strike, eh, you know. So tissue samples are taken. They showed no sign of the usual suspects poison-wise, like anthrax, botulism, uh, epizootic hemorrhagic disease. Mm -hmm. So they start looking at water sources nearby. Uh, are there toxic plants, fertilizer contamination? Nothing, okay? Hmm. Okay. So, you still thinking poison forest? I mean, no, not after that analysis, because that basically just covered everything I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's well, get another guess here. I think it's a good, we, we can reassess our guesses, because I definitely know what it is now. <clears throat> you do, do you? Go ahead. Yeah, what, I mean, what, is it question. Now? what is it now, Peter? Dude, it's obviously aliens. There's, well, there's zero question. Well, you'll be delighted to find out <laughs> that as no cause for death is determined in time passing by, Wild ideas start to come forth, sure. including that it's <laughs> UFO ideas. related. Of course uh, it is. Yeah. All right. So finally, after a month, New Mexico Fish and Game makes an, an announcement. They so solved it with circumstantial evidence, though. Wow. Would you like so this is interesting. Would you like to know what they said it was? The I would. Yes. Very much so. Yes. Okay. They said that in a drinking trough on a, a property nearby that they found something called anabina. I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's a type of blue-green blue algae. Blue-green algae, yep. That's byproduct of the toxin that can cause death within 4 to 12 hours of consuming. Ugh, so what they're wow. saying is these animals passed by, <laughs> stopped at this small drinking trough, waited in a neat orderly line, all drank from the same trough, and then all died within five minutes of each other, even though it ranges from 4 to 12 hours. This is the official explanation so Forrest, this is, i would like to know what you think about that this is okay. important actually and I, i'd like this is really good for people especially if you live well anywhere in the u.s but especially in the western united states this is really really significant and i'll tell you a little personal story about this buddy of mine went down to baja picked up like a baja street mutt it's like a popular thing in southern california you go to baja you find yourself a dumpster dog and you bring him home and take <laughs> care of him um, uh, I tried to do it. My wife shut that down immediately. Well, yeah, but you already cute. brought home a small horse. So that's right. Yeah, they're cute. You know, you find this puppy, he's eating garbage and you want to bring him home, help him out. My buddy goes down, he does that, right? He brings back this dog. This dog is awesome. I, for, I think the dog's name was Charlie, but, uh, no, that's hey, your dog. No, no, no. It wasn't Charlie. What was it? It was something oh. like that. But, um, doesn't matter. This dog was awesome. He like grew up to be this like big, healthy, robust, outdoorsy dog would go hiking all the time with my buddy. And, um, and one day my buddy takes him on a hike dog cause healthy as can be running around being a dog two days later, not even I was like the next day dog drops dead, just stone cold dead. Absolutely Brutal, as healthy as can be takes it in for an autopsy midsummer. He's out hiking. The dog goes and drinks from a stagnant puddle and it's got the same blue green algae. It does not matter wow. if you have a kid, a dog, you're an elk. This stuff is seriously toxic. And I worry about it because my son goes and plays in the creek all the time. And, you know, later in the summer, the creek ends up being real dry and algae filled and puddly. And he puts it in his mouth and everything else. So what do I think about this? Everybody needs to be very aware of it. I'm not saying be, be super nervous, but if you're out on a trail in, in the western United States and there is stagnant freestanding water, meaning a water source that's not attached to anything else where that algae could potentially grow because the water's not flowing, don't let your dog drink in it. Don't try and filter and drink it. Don't splash it on your face. Just leave it alone. If it can kill a 300-pound elk or bigger, 500-pound elk, it can definitely kill you. Interesting. Good advice. Yeah. Legit. Um, 
Okay. Oh, horrible picture. A dog swimming in a pond, a swamp of, of, of blue, blue green, green algae. algae. Um, <laughs> okay. But <clears throat> thanks, that's, that's great info. <laughs> but does it make sense that this small trough designed for a few pigs that a hundred plus elk would have all drank from the same trough and then died within five minutes of each other? That's a little suspect. I would think that it's much more likely that the blue green algae was taking place in a variety or it was coming mm -hmm. from a variety of puddles in the area and that, you know, they didn't all line up, drink together and drop dead at the same time. But, I think but that the, the question is, wouldn't they have found that in the uh, autopsy of the animals when they were trying to figure this out? Or is I, that I don't know. I don't well, know. No, because they found no, it in it the dog. Undetectable, I think, or they didn't test the tissue. No, no. See, for I'm it. poking holes in this because they found it in Forrest friend friend's dog. They did. See, they did. The mystery is unsolved. They're just saying that as the official thing because I'm telling you right now, hundred elk. This is aliens. Well, so no. Question. <laughs> here's a little bit of intrigue that I found fascinating. So yeah. this part of New Mexico has awarded the most natural gas fracking contra, uh, contract. Oh, no way. Anywhere. So Peter's thing. That's yeah. why you were like shocked and, yep. when he said it. Oh, and, dude. And dude, the, you're, the, yes. they found contaminated drinking water uh, of humans drinking water in the area. And oh, a politician shit. proposed not even to get rid of the contracts they'd already given, but was like, we need to like pause how many of these fracking contracts we're putting out. Like the water's up, fucked up. And hmm. it wow. didn't even get enough support to make it for a vote oh, um, wow. because there's so, so much money changing hands on this natural gas fracking in New Mexico. So a lot of locals there think that Peter might have guessed it right off the bat that there could be some fracking chemicals or something like that. And it got swept under the rug. A little conspiracy, maybe. Listen, weigh in in the comments what you think it is. Take a peek. We'll put a link in the uh in the description, because honestly, man, this shit's fucked up. A hundred moose uh, you're, and Forrest, literally his friend had the autopsy. I'm sorry, elk had the autopsy and was detectable. We've just poked a major hole in this investigation that has not been stated in, in public yet. It, it is interesting. And especially as someone who's not, you know, like I'm not a big conspiracy theory guy. I know you are Peter, but like, I'm no, just not. not into that stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I do think, that is the kind of thing that would be swept under the rug immediately. hundred right? percent. It, it's just Without like, question. well, I don't really sort of shoot, you know, well, I don't really lean into that and, and think like, Oh, this, all these conspiracies are taking place all the time. The government's trying to trick us all the time. A massive fracking operation that's well-funded that releases some gas and kills a herd of elk. I absolutely believe that that, you know, mining organization would pay anybody a million, a hundred million, 50 million, whatever dollars to make it go away. And sure. especially when you're, when you work at, you know, the DNR, the department of natural resources, and you make $60,000 a year, mm -hmm. some guy comes along and says, Hey, when you do your autopsy, make sure that that, uh, that says blue green algae, here's $50 million. Right. You're telling me, I don't care who you are. You're not going to take that. I would take it. I'll, I'll take that bribe. And I'll tell you why. Cause I'll put that $50 million into conservation use. I will absolutely figure out. Well, maybe not because I guess they're fracking. So maybe should have shut them down. No, but, but I mean, you get my point, right? <laughs> yes, like you're, you're taking course. that. You're not well, walking I mean, we away can't from say that. And by the way, that it's that it's correct. But the suspicion that's out there, especially considering the evidence you released at the end of the mystery, that other water supply has been contaminated. Yes, I think people should be looking more into this. And by the way, that that employee that makes, as you said, sixty or eighty thousand dollars a year, it's not. You don't need. $50 million. No, you, you know, 50 no. grand in cash that just fell off the truck. Totally. For sure. go a long way. Totally. Exactly. Totally. Not to mention yeah. like if local politicians are like, they're looking at it, they're like, okay, if we come out and say that they drank fracking fluid, that's going to cause massive public outcry. Right. And, and put a stop to this, this pipeline of cash that's coming right into the state and into our pockets directly in kickbacks. Well, right. And the animal behavior for us, I mean, it's just frankly, from what I'm hearing, they would not line up a hundred elk wouldn't line up and, and take sips out of, out of a small trough. And that's what they put in the paper as the no, official no, explanation. Not only that Peter, Correct. but a dog that's been raised in a house that's out on a hike that goes hiking a few times a week will absolutely drink from a puddle. You know, they're, they're sure. thirsty. They're going to drink from a puddle. They're going home to eat their Purina dog chow and their Evian water. <laughs> a herd of elk 
Well, I don't know that there's any science behind the statement I'm about to make. I strongly believe this is more knowledgeable than that. These animals mm-hmm. live out in the New Mexican desert. They don't go around drinking from puddles that have blue green algae. And you've never heard of this happening before. We've right. never heard of it happening since. You haven't heard of it happening with three animals that tasted it, went Ugh, and dropped dead, or said right. or sniffed right. it and went something's up because they have an insane sense of smell. Instead, we're talking about a hundred plus animals that had no idea. I mean, that's pretty suspect. Like well, I like to absolutely. think, absolutely, yeah. I like to think that these animals are more aware, whether it's conscious or subconscious than to be drinking out of stagnant puddles or troughs or whatever it is that is undeniably contaminated with a life-threatening thing. Oh, dude, I, I, I just mean, think felines, they are. Felines will not drink out of stagnant water. Feral cats yep. don't even drink out of stagnant water. Right. Only, only domesticated cats. Right. Like, mine won't. Right. Mine doesn't. Will <laughs> not drink out of... It has to be running water. So I have right. fucking three fountains in the house, but it mostly just drinks the filtered tap. <laughs> it's pretty um, infuriating, yeah. dude, how how stupid they think that people are. And honestly, like, listen, if I would have read the story, I would have just passed it up. I would have read the headline in the summary and I would have just been like, whatever. But it's like, <clears throat> you could easily say, okay, well, hey, I want you to do an experiment with an elk and and give it a dish of like the inner algae that won't actually affect it or whatever. And oh, that's see interesting. If it yeah, would even idea. drink it. You know, that's a good idea. We need Cookie to get on this. This is an anomaly, and then if right? It drinks it, then you got immediately got to jam your fingers down its throat. <laughs> <laughs> puke it back up. Give it some epicatat or whatever that um, shit is that makes you puke. 